Hey there, this is KT Bradford with Notebooks.com and I am coming to you to talk today about the HP DM1, the new HP DM1. That's right, this is the next version of the 11.6 inch system that was introduced at CES this year. And so HP has uh, spruced it up a little bit. They've learned a little from uh, the last design, which was very popular. And so now I'm just gonna take you on a short tour of this very cool laptop. So as you can see, um, it has a, a finish similar to the one on the last DM1, but this one is um, soft touch. And and so this is uh, the soft touch is printed right on the device, so it's not going to you know fade away. Um, this design in here, which is really cool, sort of little diamond design, is printed along with the soft touch uh, surface, so that it's not going to fade. It's not screen printed on. So we like that. Uh, it does a pretty good job of hiding fingerprints. It's also very durable, so it's not going to get you know scuffed up very easily. And the thing we like about this is that um, it's another HP 360 design. So on the back got the same deal going on with the soft touch and the pattern. So we really like that. Um, in terms of ports and such, it's pretty much the same as it was before. Um, we've got HDMI here and the USB. These are all USB 2.0 ports. They are not USB 3. Um, and then over here we have the other two USB ports, VGA, headphone mic, and of course the um, SD MMC card slot. So, you know, that has not changed. But what has changed is um, if you look at the line of the DM1 now, um, it's uh, a little slightly bit different than uh, the original uh, DM1, and you're going to see some comparison photos on the website. And we also like how the battery is now more sort of um, rounded, not quite, you know, more flush. It's not sort of a cylindrical thing sticking out. It doesn't have as much back as uh, some of my colleagues would say. And then we've got um, the Hewlett Packard name right here. You know, so it's it, very nice, different touches, but it makes it sort of easier to carry. It just feels good in the hand, really nice. So let's go ahead and go inside. And um, keyboard is the same, but touchpad is different. Now the touchpad, instead of being the click pad that it was before, is uh, flush with the surface, and this is matte, not rubberized, but that's okay. Um, you got a little bit of a texture difference going on here, so you know where the touchpad ends and the uh, uh, wrist rest begins, and two uh, discrete mouse buttons, so really appreciate that, and we like that they're nice and wide. They're just as wide as the touchpad. There's no sort of strange funkiness going on there. So um, as I said, same keyboard. Uh, the biggest difference in the look here besides the touchpad is that instead of being silver on the inside, this is now black. Um, and then we have the nice HP screen. So uh, one of the things that HP has done, I don't know if you, you saw just now, but when I opened up the DM1, it turned on instantly. It came right back from sleep. If you press uh, the power button there, it's going to go right to sleep, and then it will come back when you open the lid. Um, HP says that uh, this should last uh, up to 10 hours with uh, the processor that's in here right now. There will also be an SSD option, which we'll discuss in a minute, that will last uh, about 11 and a half hours. So even if you you know don't put it into hibernate, if you're leaving it in sleep all day, you should be able to get all day battery use out of this and still have a little leftover when you plug it in at night. So we really like that. Can't wait to test that because if so, that would be pretty sweet. So this model has uh, an AMD E450 APU inside. We don't know what the price is going to be on that, but it's going to come with a range of options. The option that's going to be 399, which is going to be its base starting price, is going to be an AMD 300 APU, E300. So you got a little bit below the uh, original AMD uh, APU that the DM1 came out with and a little bit above. Uh, and then you're also going to have uh, later on an Intel Core i3 uh, ULV option, which is going to be 599, and that's going to come with Intel integrated graphics. So you're going to have a nice range. And as I said, this will come with um, an HD, well, a hard drive or an SSD option. The SSD option price we don't have at this time, probably about $200 added on to whatever the price for the hard drive option, but again, um, we're going to wait for details on that. So again, with, with the AMD APU, we're going to see long battery life. We're going to see some pretty good graphics. Um, and then HP has added a few cool um, additions to Windows, which we'll talk about in the blog post. But essentially, what we're getting here is we're getting an update on an already good machine. And so now we're going to have even more powerful processor options. We are going to have um, a, probably a 
a touchpad that's a little less annoying than some people have found the uh, HP click pads in the past, although the DM1 did have a, a better version of it. You got the same keyboard that everybody's loving and same uh, weight, 3.5 pounds. So it's this is looking like a pretty good deal. Um, can't wait to get this in and try it out. It's looking for an early October release. So um, we'll only have to wait about a month before you can get yours. And uh, we will be looking forward to trying it out when it comes in for review. So this has been KT Bradford for Notebooks.com here with the new HP DM1 11.6 inch, uh, very cool, ultra portable laptop.